Hello friends, Boomy here again with another video for you. This time we're going to go to a galaxy far, far away that not many people have gone to. That's right, you heard it here. Disneyland is firing people over Galaxy's Edge failure. Pretty much what it says in the title right here. Now let's take a look at this article and see what is going on and how Catherine Powell is no longer here we go let's take a nice little read uh, if you're not familiar with some of the things going on galaxy's edge opened not too long ago and has been met with kind of like a eh, okay this kind of sucks yeah lukewarm fanfare has not been drawing in the people that uh they were hoping it would be probably a lot of it because of the whole star wars fatigue that's happening out there in the war within the stand the star wars uh universe right now over the trash that ryan johnson produced and the light-hearted trash of jj abrams hopefully he'll do really good in episode nine but yeah, my beard is crossed, but let's get into this right now and see what's going on. Disney fires exec after Star Wars Galaxy's Edge failure. As we need further proof that Galaxy Star Wars is one big mess at Disney, now following the failure of the Galaxy Edge's theme park, the president of Disney Parks West has been removed. THR actually says that Disney has gone so far as to remove Katherine Powell's position completely and that she is leaving the studio. The article further confirms, and she's probably like walking away with like millions of dollars, but whatever. The article further confirms that not only has the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge theme park in California suffered from low attendance, but that the new park that just opened in Orlando has been failing as well. Well, yeah, when one of your main attraction rides that's riding in this theme park hasn't even opened yet and your prices are stupid i saw someone on the social uh on the, on the social media webs uh display i think they she had like five drinks it was like 150 dollars something stupid right and it was like yeah it was something really dumb that uh you're just like really that's 15 bucks for a drink it's like uh okay not happening because i work in the industry i do i can tell you that probably cost you a dollar to make with all the product but let's continue Insiders have also been posting how the new Rise of the Resistance edition is suffering from major problems. With it further, with it further said that Disney may rebrand their Star Wars attractions if things don't pick up early next year. I was also told at Comic-Con that Star Wars Galaxy Edge is dead. There it is. Regarding my Star Wars Galaxy Edge is failing, people have just been... Sh haven't just been have not been showing up excuse me which is probably due to multiple factors for one it's too freaking expensive i'm just saying for one following the release of the last jedi everything star wars has been on the decline yeah if you go into stores the merchandise is still there which is proven simply by reading disney's quarterly financial reports including solo or soilo depending on how you want to look at it the merchandise and now the theme parks a lot of fans simply aren't happy with disney's approach to approach to the franchise and it shows yeah it does however you know those of us who aren't fans of what disney is doing to star wars you know we're racist bigot nazis apparently so but we're still right however just saying another factor that added to the problems is disney's conceded assumption that fans would show up the star wars galaxy edge simply because it's star wars which you can't really blame them for that because there are people who would just do that and to be honest i would do that too just to get the experience like oh cool the millennium falcon Okay, well, let's go home. That's pretty much what I would do. But you know, there are people like that, and I can see how that... I mean, is it conceited? Kind of, yeah. But I can totally see where they're coming from on that one because it's Star Wars. I, I, I get that. I get that. So what Disney did to take advantage of the fans was to jack ticket prices prior to opening. Now, that's always your first clue that something's not right, uh, which we see backfired big time. Yes, they do. They continued. THR further says Disney followed up the low attendance at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge with discount pricing and aggressive marketing. But obviously that appears to be failing as the president of Disney's Park West position is now completely gone. Another issue is that Star Wars Galaxy Edge wasn't even completed as all it has is a Millennium Falcon ride and a bunch of overpriced shops scattered throughout the theme park as Rise of the Resistance is still being built, but again is suffering from delays and major problems. So there we have it. There's just another sign that Disney, the, oh, oh hi, I'm going to take everything you have here and destroy it. Oh, oh, that's right. And if you say anything against it, you're a Nazi. 
Disney, when Disney first bought Star Wars, I was kind of excited about it. I'm like, okay, yeah, this, this is a major, a major franchise, a, a major business. That what could go wrong? Kathleen Kennedy, Brian Johnson, what could go wrong? Well, I was proven wrong. And I will say that, I was totally proven wrong. I had high hopes, but it was dash and destroy. Force Awakens was okay. I'll give that one, it was okay. It was a complete rehash of A New Hope, but Force Awakens was okay. Last Jedi was complete and other dog trash. Thank you very much. And so far from what I've seen in, in the teasers for episode nine, yeah. But this just goes to show that you can't count on people go into something just because it's Star Wars, especially today where there's a fatigue, people are sick and tired of what Disney's doing to Star Wars, they they have over milked this cow, and this cow needs time to stand back and readjust, it's just is a major disaster, if they hadn't, if they had just gone, taken the series, and sh sh shown it, showed it, yeah, showed it respect, and continued on instead of trying to filter in uh, narratives here and there, feminist narratives, this, that, bad acting, uh, Mary Sue's with just, it just, it just yeah, just, I, I just can't even come to words with why they boofed this up so hardcore and then doubling down and attacking fans because fans were upset with what Ryan Johnson did to The Last Jedi and then he goes on and attacking fans. This is just another reason why keep freaking politics out of our entertainment just leave them alone i mean yes you're always going to have a little something in there but have both sides of it just don't double down and then start calling people names because you don't like their work and you share a different opinion well that's stupid it's just it's that's just stupid and childish and moronic and there's a reason why ryan johnson's trilogy probably will not happen because they haven't even scheduled yet that could be another video yeah anyways my friends let me know in the comment section below what do you think of this is this the death nail to Star Wars Galaxy Edge, or do you think they might actually rebound? I honestly think that they're going to have, they put so much in here, they're going to have to do something. They need to go back to the drawing board and just make peace with everything on this one. But yeah, this one's a failure. This this, this one has taken a big nosedive. It most definitely did. But yeah, let, let me know your comments in the comments section below as well. And hey, you might not agree with me and party on. That's cool. Whatever. We're, it's okay to agree to disagree. It is. What? I know. That's crazy. It's the internet. Huh. Anyways, my friends, hit that like button if you like. What does he hear? The more likes we get, the more people like get to find us and the more people get to hate us. It's going to be great. It's going to be fun. Come along for the ride and hit that subscribe button. Let's grow this family. Let's get out there. Let's be on the front lines of freedom and common sense and talk how it is and not be afraid that the keyboard warriors are going to go out there in their basements and go after you. Meh. Nah. Because, you know, they're cowards. Anyways, my friends, we'll see you later. Remember to be kind. It's about community. And stand up for what you believe in. We'll see you later. Goodbye.